Welcome everyone to Baltimore, Maryland. We are on the road to final battle in Riccoboni. Silas Young, each day this week, will present a huge Ring of Honor bout for your enjoyment as we head towards Saturday, December 11th, for final battle on Fight TV and Pay-Per-View. We'll take it to Bobby Cruz for our official introduction. This tag team match is set for one fall in a 20 minute time limit. Team number one, Burke, wrestling out of Cape Town, South Africa, weighing 217 pounds, the Darrow P.J. Black. And thank you so much for joining us here in Baltimore, Maryland. Ian Riccoboni and Silas Young here. There you see P.J. Black, the Darrow. You know, he's been helping Flip Gordon. Who thinks he's 2018, Silas Young? Yeah, I, I'm not really sure what's going on with Flip. It's like he lost his mind, but to be fair, there really wasn't much there to lose anyways. <laughs> Oh, Flip Gordon is, is a young, bright kid who's got a huge future ahead of him. P.J. Black, though, he's been giving him potions, blue juice. What's in that blue juice? Have you taken a whiff of that? Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm going to be trusting P.J. Black and his, his medicines and concoctions, but, uh, you know, it's a good thing for Flip. He's an athlete he is. His partner, Russell of Kalispell, Montana, weighing 205 pounds, Flip Gordon! You know, 2018 was a good year for you, Silas Young. You were, at one point, the Ring of Honor World Television Champion. He actually greeted you as champ when we saw him earlier, and he, he issued a challenge for your television title. Yeah, yeah, you know, that that was a great year for myself. That's no doubt, but, you know, flip is flip. And uh, to be honest with you, I think people that even know him uh, wouldn't really uh, be able to know the difference between whether he had lost his mind or not. <laughs> wow. Flip is an amazing athlete, and this friendship, this bond between he and P.J. Black, they formed a formidable team, two high flyers. P.J., of course, has wrestled in over 60 countries. But all that experience, Silas, doesn't equate to championships, and they are facing the Ring of Honor World Television Champion and six foot six of Colorado Muscle. We'll take it back to Bobby Cruz for their opponents. Their opponents had a combined weight of 469 pounds. The team of the Ring of Honor World Television Champion, Dalton Castle. And the mile high magnum, Death Draper. Silas, you know Dalton Castle very well. The last man standing bouts the wars that you've had with Dalton Castle. This is a man you can't judge a book by its cover. Uh, absolutely, you know, when I first met, met Dalton, it's no secret, uh, not, a, not a fan of him uh, as a wrestler, not a fan of him as a person, but, you know, uh, you know I, I came to learn that he is he's an athlete. You know, this guy's a former college wrestler along with Dak Draper, you know, PJ and Flip are gonna, they got some work in store for him here today. They certainly do, as you see the baby chicks yeah, feeding yeah. Dalton Castle and Dak Draper. <laughs> Huge tag team bout on him. Why, he gets me every, why do I stop? I don't have to stop. My life. Oh, you are in trouble for what Dak's gonna do to you. What Dak's oh, gonna do? Oh boy. Oh man! The world television ready? champion Dalton Castle getting ready for final yeah, battle this weekend. But you are in for a treat. Saturday, December no. 11th, it's gonna be on no, Honor Club, Fight they TV, pay-per-view. They've come alive. And did you see what Flip's? <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's a lot coming from Flip that someone's getting weirder and weirder. You know, I, I start thinking about this tag team of Dak and Dalton, and it makes me wonder if uh, if, if Dalton's move to uh, have Dak as his tag partner was to keep uh, keep him on his side so he's not a potential opponent, to be honest with you. I, I mean, that wouldn't be a bad strategy. Dak Draper has certainly proved time and time again that he is championship caliber. Almost defeated Jonathan Gresham for the pure championship. Had a great match against Dragon Lee when Dragon Lee was the world television champion. He's right on the doorstep of being a champion here in Ring of Honor. He, he absolutely is. He has all the tools that it takes to get it done. It would not surprise me if it was a bit of strategy, although it's weird. The Hi, Ian! Dalton, and, and hello, Dalton. Good to see you. Good. This feels like an, an Albert Camus novel. This feels like maybe Jean-Paul Jean Sartre, the absurdist, the absurdist French writer that's just I, 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 I have no idea what reference you're making right now, and I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think a lot of people that's at okay. home do, but I think we can all agree that Dalton Castle is definitely weird. <laughs> I mean, that's what I was getting at. Thank that, you. That's what I figured. <laughs> 
Those are just odd, strange books where nothing nothing fits together and nothing makes sense. And well, that's a perfect analogy for <laughs> Dalton Castle, that's for sure. And he is our world television champion. The rock, paper, scissors to start, and it's going to be P.J. Black starting things off with Dalton Castle. Senior referee Todd Sinclair calls for the bell. And P.J. Black in here, over 60 countries wrestled, 48 states. Hopefully he's looking to get to, to 50. I think he needs, uh, I think we were talking, he needs Vermont. Wyoming, so wouldn't that be something to rest in all 50 states? Yeah, absolutely. I think that's the goal of uh, of all of us guys. You know, you want to be able to see as much uh, as much of Earth as you can, wrestling every every country on the planet, wrestling every state. Dalton Castle, there you see PJ Black, and a tag made to Dak Draper. And you know, I, I got to say, this partnership, even if it was strategic on Dalton's part, as a tag made to Flip Gordon. Dak has come into his own under Dalton Castle. It was a little bit of a rough start, but they've been on the same page. They've been reading the same book, and Dak has grown into that six foot six frame. Yeah, he, he absolutely has. You know, and I'll give it. I'll give it to Dalton. He's uh, he's kind of taken a page out of my my book and uh, has started to play a little bit of mind games, which will be very effective in this business. Well, speaking of mind games, Flip Gordon <laughs> chasing the chicks, the chickens. I don't flip, think Flip Gordon knows what he's doing, to be Watch honest him. with yeah. you. Connor and elbow tie up here. What do you do against a guy like Dak Draper, who, is, who has a six-foot height advantage, who's got that amateur background you just saw out of the Connor and elbow takedown? I mean, I think the easiest thing would be to would be to go for his legs. You know, he's got he's got those big those big strong muscular legs. Uh, you know, he's got he's got the size advantage, so you got to go for his legs. But with his background of uh, um, college wrestling, it's not that easy to take a guy like that's legs out. Getting a good look. Come on, Dalton. I'm just looking at him. Wait. This is a tag match. There you see Flip Gordon. You know, in some ways, it, it both breaks and warms my heart to see Flip Gordon like this because. He's required to clap. That's my doctor. This, this feels. That's my doctor. Who <laughs> with what accreditation? Will you just hit him? This is getting boring. Dalton Castle on the outside, who's been under the advice of his guru, David Arquette. Okay. Hello, David. Yeah, I know you're watching. Thank you. Oh, and I fetch chop. Wow. That right there is a good example of why he shouldn't be, by flip, shouldn't be trying to go toe to toe with Dak. I mean, Dak's got to have at least 60, 70 pounds on flip. It's okay, I tagged him, right? And Dalton Castle in there with Flip Gordon. These two no strangers to one another. Usually on the same side of battles. Big back elbow, and that's got a confused Flip. In 2018, he was he was allies with the then world champion Dalton Castle. Yeah, and in his mind, it's like uh, he's living in bizarro world. You know, things things that he were used to are no longer anymore. You know, and I think this is a good opportunity to point out too that uh, Dalton Castle's really become an opportunist. You know, he's he's, he's taking advantage of situations, and uh, he's not he's not exactly the the Dalton Castle we remember from the past. And you know, when it comes to the the uncertain future of Ring of Honor, re, Ring of Honor being reimagined, there, there's almost no better time to adapt that philosophy. As much as it pains me to say that, oh, hip toss there. Because now you're fighting for wins, you're fighting for the, the purse at the end of the night, but you're also fighting to be part of Ring of Honor's plans going forward in, in, in April. Absolutely, you know, you have to you have to be be ready to leave this on an exclamation point. You know, for for a lot of the guys, this is their, this this may very well be their last match in Ring of Honor, and it's important to leave on a high note. Ooh, big back heel kick there, and PJ Black fires through with an elbow. Look, like he caught him in the eye there. Oh, up and over, PJ Black, so talented, the Darewolf. Hooks him, two, a great use of Dalton Castle, PJ's own body weight. Absolutely, he was able to uh, kind of kind of reverse it in the air and be able to get make uh, PJ hurt himself, actually. Tag made to Dak Draper here. Dak and Dalton forming quite the formidable duo as of late. And you know, with the new Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions, the OGK, this match will go far in determining who will challenge for those championships? Absolutely, you know when you look at OGK too, they are they are the epitome of a tag team. And uh, as good as these these two tag teams are here, I don't think they have the uh, that tag team cohesiveness that that's needed. And you see Dak going for some amateur style pins there, just grinding 
PJ on the mat. I didn't expect to see that, but that must be something that came up in the film that Dalton and Dak found. Maybe a weakness for that amateur style. Yeah, you know, uh, sometimes I think even fans forget, you know, it's not just about, you know, a simple body slam. Clearly it's effective. Clearly it's going to help knock the wind out of a guy. But sometimes just getting a guy on the mat and, and put, putting in a hold real deep, grinding him, putting your weight on him, makes him breathe harder. You're just wearing him down. It's the slow game. You breathe new life into my lungs. Into the ropes, catches him with a forearm. And Draper looking for another pin here, one. And they're going for quick pins. They must see something in PJ Black where they think he's susceptible to the roll-up. Everybody's susceptible to the roll-up. You know, once again, people think they look at a roll-up and they think, oh, how do you not kick out of a roll-up? But you know, a lot of this, uh, you, get, you give a guy a roll-up after you've just knocked him in the face. It's just about knocking someone off their equilibrium. It only takes three seconds. Wow! Three seconds to win a match. And a little bit less than that from that dead lip, T-bone style suplex from Dalton Castle. I do, I do like seeing the aggressiveness out of Dalton here. It's nice to see him get, get more aggressive. He's, he he's realizes that we're, we're at the end of the line and it's time to win. You got to get it, get the job done here today. Rules are rules. Referee Todd Sinclair keeping Cliff out of the equation there as Dak Draper taking advantage of P.J. Black on the outside. And look at Dalton like a, like a film director just taking his position out there. Yeah, that's that's very Dalton Castle. He thinks the world revolves around him. I'll give it to Dak. He's be, he's being smart here, Ian. You know, he's he's working on he's grinding him in the ring. He dropped that knee on the stomach. He picked him up, dropped him across his ribs. I'll be honest, Todd. This is going. You can't breathe. You can't wrestle. Absolutely. The gut wrench here. The strength of Dak Draper just to hold 200 plus pounds like it's it's nothing. Yeah. A hand up. Look at PJ fighting. Just hitting the legs. Tag made. And now at this point, PJ, the, the air is being squeezed out of him. That's why the, the fight has, has slowed down, but he's, he's trying to fight. Oh. Dalton Smarty, go for the cover there quick. What do you think of that? Huh? Gotta I'm like still wrestling like I'm banged up. I'm the champ, god damn it! Yeah. Dalton Castle clearly, again, the world, thing the world revolves around him as Dak Draper, the one inflicting the pain and the punishment here. With each twist, that point of the wrist goes further toward the midsection. Yeah, it just it, it, dri it drives into your, into your stomach, into your, uh, you know, into your ribs, into your abdominals. You know, as much as Dalton Castle likes to think this is about him, it looks like to me like Dak, Dak Draper's doing the majority of the work. Oh, baby! I'm sorry I didn't watch the tape you sent me. I didn't even know they were a tag team. On this you know, and flip. flip Their flip showing his intelligence as always. Oh. Poor flip. Oh, look at Dalton. Again, that, that mental game. Psych out on the outside. I think that might have been a mistake. You know, he had that opportunity. Yeah, it, it, it's a, a little bit inconsistent, right? I mean, he's, we've seen that, that kind of killer instinct, that, that opportunistic behavior from Dalton. And again, my, my future's uncertain, yours is. If, if you're gonna if, if you're gonna continue, if you're gonna be in Ring of Honor's plans, win, win the match, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's I'm all, talking like you now, yeah, what is it, going it, on? It, it, It's all about winning the match. It must be bizarro world here today. And, but you know, that's the problem with guys like Dalton Castle. Their egos, their egos drive them. They make bad decisions based off of ego. Into the ropes, oh, knee to the midsection. I'm impressed right now with Dak Draper. He looks like the quarterback of the team right now. Absolutely, Dak Draper's a beast. Double Irish whip, knee to the midsection, caught! Catches him, roll up two! Oh, and Dak, Dak was on his way out of the ring. Thank goodness Dalton didn't need him to break that up. Slam down, hooks the leg, two, nice tight cover. And a wrist grip there, tag main. Looking like Dalton's starting to realize the urgency here. Well, yeah, I, I mean, this team has, has beaten teams of guys who are looking to be on their way up. They have not yet beaten a team like P.J. Black and Flip Gordon, who, who have been around the world, who've been on pay-per-view, been on television. Absolutely, this is the big test. This is a test to see if this is a, this is a team that's worth pursuing. No, 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 no. And I think, I think for Dak Draper, absolutely. Uh, and, 
And in this case, I, I would say uh, Dalton Castle may be the weak link of this team. Wow, and that's the world television champion you're talking about. Yeah, I'm, I'm not taking anything away from Dalton. I'm just saying that's how good Dak is. Yeah, Dak's been impressive, and, and there might be more validity than we thought. Ooh, to that comment about maybe Dalton's bringing him into the circle to keep him away from the tight. I will say, though, I really like this tag work that they're doing. They're getting in and out of the ring quick. They're keeping fresh. They're working on PJ's ribs, his, his, uh, his midsection, knocking the wind out of him. It's great tag team wrestling. Some more quick tags here, absolutely. Bigger! Bigger. And all Flip Gordon can do is watch at this point. You want to see something big? I don't want to see nothing else. One, no! Stop it! PJ Winkle! And PJ up and over. P.J. Black ducks the clothesline, rolls through, makes the tag. It's Flip Gordon. Springboard catches both men. And there's Flip doing what Flip does. Oh, Flip Gordon gets eyes on Dalton and gets him. And Dalton all the way up the ramp. Oh, wow, the strength of Dak Draper. <laughs> That might make, think Flip, make Flip think twice again about trying something like that with Dak. Oh, looking for the Magnum K on the outside. Instead, standing switch, go behind. Gordon blocks the post. Big back elbow. And it's Flip. Wow! Look at that! That is amazing. You know, as much as Flip is, uh, has forgotten, forgotten the time we're in, he hasn't forgotten how to wrestle. Wow! I got you. Or that footwork. Look at Flip Gordon. And this is the Flip Gordon that we've been hoping to see this whole time. Whoa, double blockbuster! Yeah. Oh, the, the balance there that takes. Apparently Flip has just lost his mind, but not his equilibrium. Amazing. I mean, he, he, he looks renewed, he looks rejuvenated. It, it's amazing to think that he even, he even had a head injury. You know, that's something that usually takes people a long, long time to recover from. And the fact is he doesn't look like he missed a step. Oh, 450, nobody home. And Flip Gordon. Flip yeah. Gordon, Draper on his shoulders. Wow, the strength of Flip Gordon. Wow, Samoa Trap with the back flip. Running, shooting, start press, hooks the leg, two. And that's why Flip Gordon is with Ring of Honor. He's got the strength to pick up a guy like Dak Draper and then the impressive physical ability to be able to hit a standing shooting star press afterwards. And has him on his shoulders. PJ looking for the double team. Instead, Draper gets down. Flip fights Dalton down from the corner. It's Draper, has Gordon up. Oh, Magnum KO, gets him, rolls him up too. Just a two count there, block Dak's finishing move. Up and out to the apron. Wow, connects on the side of the head. Dalton charges in, shoulder to the midsection. It's Gordon outside in, caught, caught by Castle. The world television champion has flipped Gordon and he blocks that move too. Blocks the bangerang. Big back elbow. Wow, super kick from PJ Black. Pop up, uh oh, uh oh, back up KO. But nobody home. Gordon's got Draper. Gordon's got Draper. He got him. Wow. The winners of this match to team up Flip Gordon and PJ Black. I got to say, I'm, I'm impressed with Flip Gordon. Even, even after the injury, after him losing his mind, he doesn't look like he missed a step. It, not only does it not look like he lost a step, it look, he's, he's better. He's somehow he is. The mental connect the moves. He wrestled with more experience, but he thought he was from the past. I, it, it, Flip Gordon just pinned Dak Draper. They beat Dalton Castle, the world television champion. And, and now, I mean, as we're thinking things through, please join us tomorrow. Beer City Bruiser taking on Caprice Coleman. You don't want to miss it. Happy wrestling, everybody. The end of an era, but some people hear it and they get discouraged. And all I think is optimism. So if you say this is the end of an era, I'm not gonna just retire to my chambers and, and call it quits. No, the, the clock is ticking. I've gotta do everything I can to, to bring what the viewers need. I, I feel like an uncontrollable amount of responsibility to make this the greatest final battle ever.
I, we're gonna go down. We are gonna go down in a blaze of glory. I am not holding anything back. This is the biggest night of my life. This is the biggest night of Ring of Honor. I am gonna burn this bitch to the ground. You take this as the end. We'll see, 